Good morning, all of the students. I am Kurne Sir, Economics Department. My subject is Economics. Dear friends, the Pre University uh, Department has adopted new syllabus in Economics for the first PUC and from the 2017 and 18, it consists of both studies for the economics and Indian economic development. In accordance with the NCRT syllabus of the Stricter government, in the present competitive world, the knowledge of economics is very essential. So, the strength should be due the most importance information of the world knowledge in the books. In this context, the first PUC economics books have been designed to help the students of the economics have knowledge about the elementary statistics and the economic development of India. The syllabus of the statistics for economics and economic development of India, the book contains chapter wise questions including one marks, two marks, four marks, six marks, and five marks of oriented questions. Now we shall discuss about the PUC first year syllabus of the part uh, A and part B. Part A includes a statistical or statistics for economics. The students have to be studied in this statistics for economics. First chapter is introduction. In the introduction, we have to study the meaning of statistics or the new meaning of statistics, what is use of statistics, and who is the consumer, who is the producer, and who is the trader, and who is the seller. We have to study this first chapter. And second chapter is the collection of data. Collection of data means the collection data from various sectors, from agriculture sectors, the industrial sectors, real sectors. We have to collect the data from the various sectors. Number four one is organization of data. When you collected the data from various sectors, you have to organize the data in proper ways. That is for the organization of data. And number four one is presentation of data. Because so the next chapter is presentation of data. When you collection of data, after the collection of data, after the organization of data, and then you have to presentation of data. How to present? How to present the data huh? in the primary, secondary SOP? Uh, number fifth chapter is measures of central tendency. Huh? Measures of central tendency. You have to be studied in the central tendency. There is a very important chapter. This is one. This uh, arithmetically mean, median, mode, etc. included in the chapter. Number six one is measures of dispersion. Uh, measures of dispersion. Number seven chapter is correlation. This is also a very important chapter. In this chapter, you have to study positive correlation, negative correlation, the meaning of correlation, and you have to study this chapter. Number eight is index numbers. Index numbers which indicates the value of money or value of goods and prices. Some prices are going up, come down. This is called as index numbers. Number one chapter is the use of statistical tools. The use of statistical tools in every sectors in where we are using the statistical tools in various subjects. The statistical helps to other subjects. This is use of statistical tools. Now we come to the part B. This is the most important for Indian economy, and you have to study in this part. First chapter is development policies and experience Indian economy and the view of the independence. Well, there are a number of policies 
adopted by the government from 1947 to 1990. Number two, Indian economy. It is the most important chapter. Indian economy from 1950 to 1990. And number third chapter is economic reforms since 1991. LPC. Huh? Number third chapter is economic reforms since 1991. LPC. Economic reforms is adopted government in the various reforms are adopted by government after the 1991. Before the 1991, there are a number of policies are there, but they are not effective. But after the 1991, the government has adopted a number of policies to improve the economy. And it brings the LPC. It brings the LPC. LPC means Liberalization, privatization, globalization. This is the future of the, uh, the economic reforms or LPC. Number four chapter is current challenges facing the Indian economy poverty. The current challenges facing Indian economy poverty. In this chapter, we have to study the number of unemployment or poverty there are number of poverty poverty means meaning poverty line who are the below poverty line huh? number fifth chapter is human capital formation in india human capital formation in india what is human capital first of all we have to understand the meaning of human capital formation what is human capital? Human capital means education, health, huh? education, health, and, uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, hospitalization center. These are the uh, most important for the uh, human capital formation in India. Number six chapter is rural development. It is most important chapter in the uh, First year class, rural development. The idea is dependent upon rural development. What is rural development? Rural development means the uplifting the poor people into high level. It is a rural development. Huh? It is rural development. Number seven, employment, growth, information, and other issues. Employment, growth, information, and other issues. There are employment, other issues. In India, the employment is no. There is unemployment, underemployment, uh, and uh, there is fictional unemployment, cyclical unemployment, educational unemployment, disguised unemployment. There are very lot of unemployment in India. The Indian people are facing lot of problems by the unemployment because of increasing the population. Population expanding, and uh, we have facing the number of problems by increasing the population. There is unemployment, low population, and other issues. Number eight only is infrastructure. Infrastructure means it is most important to economy. Infrastructures are agriculture, industry, trade, commerce. Is studied in the infrastructures. It is also included in the transport sectors, service sectors. Banking, insurance, this is infrastructure. Number nine one is environment and sustainable development. It is the most important chapter in the first MC class. Environment and sustainable development. Sustainable development, it is the most important. Every Prime Minister of the country uh, meet, summit in one place to develop economy and sustainable development and then protect the environment and uh, to maintain free uh, silent environment. It is called the environment and sustainable development. The uh, last uh, one is development experience of India in comparison with neighbors. This is the most important chapter. Why you dear uh, development experience of 
India in comparison with neighbors. We have a number, number of neighbors countries like Pakistan, China, India, Bangladesh. What they are depending, which they are depending for agriculture, for industry, for trade, for banking, for transport. Which country is the most highest? In which which country contribute to the more to the which sector or agriculture sector or industrial sector? This in which country is population is more? Where is less? What is the rate? What is the rate? Huh? This is in this last sector. But all of these two parts included hundred marks. Its fifty marks is also fifty. Each chapter has multiple choice questions. One marks. Each chapter has multiple choice questions. Uh, each chapter one marks, two marks, four marks, six marks, and five marks questions are there. We have to solve the five marks questions. That question is oriented, project oriented questions. That is compulsory for uh, each question. Hmm? And it is also a part of B. Indian report of it is. The chapter wise questions are, multiple choice questions are there. This is also included 1 marks, 2 marks, 4 marks, 6 marks, and 5 marks. 5 marks questions is oriented to set questions. We have to solve this question. We have to study very sincerely every kind of hardly. This is also very important chapters. These are also very important, no less, no more. This is covered totally under us, covered by the board. We have to solve these problems within time schedule. Thank you.